Hi everyone, I am Dr. J. Suresh Gaud, Associate Professor in Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, we are going to discuss the topic rank correlation. What is the meaning of rank correlation? In the previous session, we have discussed, we have discussed about correlation. Correlation means the relation between the variables. Here, rank correlation means relation between by using the ranks. Simple logic by using the ranks, not by using the marks. Right? This is also used to find the strength of relation between two variables by using ranks. The symbol is rho. Rho formula 1 minus 6 sigma d square by n into n square minus 1, where this d is difference between two ranks and n is number of paid observations and this row value also in between minus 1 to 1. By using this formula rho, we can find out the relation between the two variables same by using the ranks. But here what is the difference between two ranks? Okay. Now what is the procedure? Two cases are there. If ranks are given, if ranks are not given. Suppose five students are there in math subject, suppose statistics subject. One student got first rank in mathematics, fourth rank in statistics, second rank in mathematics, third rank in the statistics, third rank in the mathematics, first rank in the statistics, fourth rank in the mathematics, fifth rank in the statistics. 5th rank in the mathematics, 2nd rank in the statistics. These are the ranks of the 5 students in the mathematics subject. You find out the difference between ranks. Then you find the square. Then add them, sigma d square. n equal to paired observations. How many? 5. By using 1 minus 6 sigma d square by n into n square minus 1. We will get the answer. Sometimes instead of marks, only ranks are given. Sorry, instead of ranks, only marks are given. Ranks are not given. In that case, we allot the ranks based on the marks. Either it may be in the decreasing order or increasing order. We should allot the ranks. Remaining process is same. Okay, we'll do the problem. See, the ranks of 16 students in mathematics and statistics are as follows. 16 students are there. This means one student got first rank in mathematics and first rank in the statistics. Suppose if you consider this student, 8th rank in mathematics, 16th rank in the statistics. This student if you consider 14th rank in the mathematics and 12th rank in the statistics. Like that we have 16 students data. Now calculate the rank correlation coefficient for the proficiency of this group in mathematics and statistics. We need to find the strength of the relation between mathematics and statistics in this group. In this group, how we can find out? All the ranks are given. First, you write the table with the ranks in mathematics, assume x, ranks in statistics. You write from 1 to 16, their, their ranks in the statistics, 16 members. First, you find out d, that means difference between ranks. 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 10, minus 8. If you uh, if you have a doubt, sir, can we do it? First statistics minus mathematics. You can do because we require d square now in the next step. That's why either x minus y or y minus x you do it. After getting all the d values, you can do it d square and sigma d square equal to 136. What is the formula? Rho formula 1 minus 6 sigma d square by n into n square minus 1, where n equal to number of paired 16 members. 1 minus 6 into 136 d square by 16 into 225. Simplify rho value 0 0.8. That means the relation is positive. Like this, if the ranks are known, we can find out the difference between the ranks, which is d, then d square. Suppose following all the ranks obtained by 10 students in two subjects, mathematics and statistics, 
find rank correlation coefficient. So 10 students are there, rankings are 1 to 10 in mathematics. The same persons in the statistics, second rank, fourth rank, first rank. This person, if you consider, got third rank in mathematics, first rank in statistics. Like that, this data is given. We need to find out D, D equal to X minus Y, difference between mathematics and statistics. Suppose if you consider this case, minus 1 whole square plus 1, sigma d square is 40. Number of observations are 10. Simplify it, we will get rho value. That means relation is positive. Now, a random sample of 5 college students are selected. Their marks in statistics and mathematics. Observe that here marks are not given. Sorry, ranks are not given. Only the marks in the statistics are given and the marks in the mathematics are also given. We do not have ranks. Now we need to allot the ranks according to their marks in the both subjects. See, mathematics subject marks, 5 students, same 5 students, statistics. First we need to allot the rank. Rank 1 means mathematics. See, here we can allot the rank, either it is in the decreasing order or increasing order. Generally, we can give the ranks in the decreasing order. Who got highest mark, we are going to give the first rank. In this case, who got highest, 90 marks are highest, we can give the first rank. The next lowest, 85 marks are the second, second rank we given. Next, 73, third rank has given. 60, fourth rank is given, 40, fifth rank. Or we can give reverse side also. Those who got less marks, we can give the first rank. There is no issue. Either we can give the increasing order or decreasing order. Similarly, R2 means statistics ranks. Who got first rank? 93 person. 93 marks, first rank. 80 marks, second rank. Next lowest, 75 marks, third rank. 65 marks, fourth rank. 50 marks, fifth rank. Now ranks are gone. We have ranks. Then remaining process is same. Difference D, you find out difference between two ranks. 2 minus 1, 1. 4 minus 3, 1. 3 minus 4, minus 1. 5 minus 5, 0. 1 minus 2, minus. D square, you do it. 1 square, 1. 1 square, 1. Minus 1 whole square, 1. 0 square, 0. Minus 1 whole square, 1. So sigma D square equal to 4. Then use the formula. Rho equal to 1 minus 6 sigma D square by N. Simplify it, we'll get 0 0.8. Okay, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.